Let's talk about these seven reasons, can we? Oh, let, let's get into that. Let's right. get into these seven reasons. So they see no clear path for advancement. That's yeah. a huge issue. Lack of role models. Yeah. Okay, in the executive suite, in the, uh, in the VP suite, are there women there? Right. I mean, any guy who goes into the game industry, just look at your, your Todd Howard, I say. Yeah. Um, but look, look at the people who are in charge of game companies. Look at, you know, your lead designers. You have a lot of people who you can pattern yourself after. You could if you wanted to be B, the next Todd Howard. And that's fine, but if you're female, do you have the same options? Yeah. There's a lot less. And, you know, they mentioned the senior level and the management level, mm -hmm. but let's go over to the other side, the board of directors. Yeah. How many women are on the board of directors? I looked at the uh, at some of the people who were quoted in these articles mm -hmm. from, from uh, board of directors. They're all men. Right. Every single one of them was a man. Right. Um, you have rigid work schedule expectations, which I'm not taking away from anything that women are facing, but that is a problem across the board. It's across the board because it also affects men. Oh, it affects It everybody. affects families. It affects mm -hmm. people who um, are trying to, to balance, uh, um, you know, di different demands on their time. Right. So, yeah, the rigid work ex schedule expectations is not unique to women, mm -hmm. but it's a serious problem that does uh, badly affect women because women are still considered the primary caregivers of the children right. in and, this country. Right. And, well, it's, and it's, it's everywhere that the crunch is there. This right here, anyone who knows me knows that this right here crunches the thing. I hate this. I hate this. I, I, I dealt with this multiple times. This sucks. And anyone who has to suffer through this, it, in bad, it's general. But I like this full solution. Allow for part-time work or, or time, time off, off is needed. needed. Flex because time flex in the game time. studio. Absolutely. And, you know, and I, I did say women with children, but, you know, there are, there are men as well as women who are having to care for elderly parents. Yep. You know, we talk about the sandwich generation. Mm -hmm. Well, these are the folks that are in... Um, burgeoning management roles this is they're at the mid their mid-career and they're having to take care of their parents uh you you're going to make them have crunch time so um i want to kind of catch up a little bit on chat here because we got some great comments mm -hmm. um burke says it just works it's hard to think of what to say in a situation as it's been a self-feeding problem it is it is and you know yes. you guys were were quiet for a while because it what do you say this it's has so, it, it this this is such a hard topic it, it is and you know we're not going to shy away from it because that's not what we do but at the same time i don't have a solution i couldn't fix this i couldn't come up with a genius idea this is this is massive yeah and it's been building for an exceedingly long time and like burke said it is self-feeding mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. time something happens it just makes it worse there's more of an outcry and then the outcry continues because things don't change on a fundamental level. They just no. change for that one example. You know? Yeah. Um, and it's so much harder to change the entire mindset, the entire right. culture right. that this thing was built from. Right. You know, it, it changes hard. One of the articles said bro culture. It's a gross thing, but it's relatively accurate. Mm -hmm. um, Mooga Rampage says, and the glass cliff. Yeah, yes. the glass cliff. Females yes. in leadership positions are subject to greatly increased scrutiny and criticism, mm -hmm. failures being used to reinforce the glass cliff. Yes. Yeah, you're it, right. It you're is. right. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it, it, it is it is a proven fact, study after study, has shown that women in leadership positions are held to a higher standard than a, a man in the same position. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. Oh, and they're, but they're also paid less. Yeah. Uh, the average now is yeah. 86 cents to uh, the male dollar. And we're only, of course, the, 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 the scope of this conversation is only, we're, we're keeping it to, and this is not be discriminatory, we're keeping it binary because, just because of the ease of discussion, but the discrimination that exists between non-binary and gender fluid people uh is even more intense yes even absolutely. more intense than with um your, your your binary female so please please understand that when we're using these pronouns we're just using it for ease of discussion um the the issues with 
any one nine binary is often amplified. Yes. A lot. Yes, it is. So, yeah. Um, um, number three kind of bleeds it from, from number two, mm -hmm. you know, uh, women choosing, you, do you be a mom or do you succeed right. at the company? And replace, you know, you can replace being a mom with, with any other role. Uh, Anything else that takes you outside of the company. <laughs> primary caregiver for primary a sick parent. Primary caregiver for a sick parent. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is, it is this. And why must a woman choose between succeeding and whatever else they're doing outside of there? Exactly. When a man is often given a higher degree of, of freedom. freedom. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hypocrisy at its highest level. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hostile work environment. Okay, that's the big one, mm -hmm. and that's the one that that is being focused on right now mm -hmm. in the Activision Blizzard lawsuit. Yeah, in, yeah. in the in the wider world, the media yeah. world, the hostile work environment. So gross. And and it, it, it's it's more than just your your gaming studio. Um, hostile work environment expands out to the player base to the fan base just let's take the word work out and just say hostile environment because i mean how many how many women out there how many of you ladies who are with us um uh, you guys who have uh wives sisters daughters who have logged into some kind of site right a gaming mm -hmm, site mm -hmm. and some dude comes up to them and goes you know hey baby you want to go to the back nine by the way, that is something that someone actually said to Teal in mm -hmm. a, uh, I think it was the PlayStation Home. It was the first PlayStation Home iteration yeah. for the PlayStation 3. I had a guy just come up to my avatar and say, hey, you want to come to the back nine? If you don't know what that is, good. It was very reprehensible. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, things like that. And, and I'll give you another example and then I'll move on. Okay. A friend of mine made, a, um, made an avatar that looked like them in pretty much in real life right and somebody came up to them and said hey hey i want to tell you something you're ugly yeah wow yeah. really it's so just... you know and so we talk about t hostile environments toxic environments it's not just the workplace it's um it's out there in the gamer space in the fan space one thing we haven't touched on um because we've talked about the what we call single player and multiplayer video games, but esports, the uh, the esports and the uh, those uh, fantasy football and sports games. Oh yes, fantasy football. Wow, um, that is really tough for for women. I, I do want to. Can I throw this out real quick? Mm -hmm. um, that whole concept of the gamer girl, which is the extremely hot girl with a headset on playing Overwatch or whatever, um, also is a disservice because, oh, we're trying to be proactive, you know, we are girls are gamers too, but then it's an over-sexualized girl, you know, wearing shorts and just basically creating a stereotype, yeah, a yeah, very yeah. gross stereotype. Right, pandering to, what they call pandering to the male gaze. Yeah. And it's, this this is a, a tough issue all the way around, and, and some corners of the gaming universe are going to be a lot harder to to change than others. Yeah. But it does start in the game studio. It starts with the people who are producing the games and the kind of games that they're producing. What's being represented in the game? How are things presented? And is there fair and equitable representation in there. Right. Um, if it starts off where the games are created, it will hopefully bleed down to where the games are being played. It will. And you'll stop having this mm -hmm. self-feeding. I love that someone said earlier it's a self-feeding problem. Because it is. Oh yeah, who said that? Who said it was a self-feeding uh, problem? Because that's absolutely true. Let me see, let me see, let yeah. me see. That would be... Uh, uh, Burke. Burke said that. Burke. It's true. Burke yeah, is absolutely true. Yes. Um, hey, it's good to see you, human. Good to see you, indeed. Thanks for joining us, human. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, let me go ahead and catch up on chat. Yeah, let's catch up on. with chat, because chat had some good good points here. Yes. Um, Burke said, um, as an aside, I started uni in a 55-person group, of which five were women for electronic engineering. Yeah. Kind of makes you see what happens in STEM branches mm -hmm. of knowledge 
or what was happening at that point at See? least. See? Yeah. And then, yeah, no female role model. Later on, Burke says, no female role models in STEM jobs. The woman gets the same branch, gets harassed because of the culture, gets out. We continue to have role models for STEM. Basically, yeah. Burke is saying it is a self-feeding mm -hmm. issue, and it is. Yes, and it is. It is. Mm -hmm. um, and a self-feeding issues are the worst kind to get rid of, the hardest to get rid of. They're the hardest. Because they perpetuate themselves. Um, BG said, yeah, I went to a school for computer science. My classes were badly male-dominated, despite in my school having a male-to-female ratio of one to six. Interesting. That's Very a, that's a interesting. Yeah. 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 Um, and um, I, I do have a really good article that we can show when we're done here before we finish. It's a very positive article on why uh, it's the one that talks about gamers as females as well as developers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, would you like to continue this? Um, yeah, yeah we'll just the, the last point is the underpaid thing, which uh, I yeah. have talked about before. Yes. Um, women just in general being paid less than men because they're seen as not contributing equally to men. Uh, there, there's still this mindset of, oh, she's going to drop out because of this reason or that reason. Right. Total BS. And it's BS. Yeah. It's, it's just not, that's, that's not the reality anymore. Well, I don't want to go into particulars. Um, this is an FYI. Uh, back when Teal and I did a lot of consulting, sometimes we would do hourly, hourly rate assignments, hourly rate jobs. Mm -hmm. um, and for those of you who know Teal, she has a master's in business and I only, I only have bachelor's. I was only paid a pers a small amount less than her, and she's the one with the master's in business. Yeah. It was very obvious to mm -hmm. her and I, both of us, that this is what was happening. Yeah. That's yeah. really disgusting. So, yeah. Um, another another point I wanted to kind of... And we, we And this, that we can... Kind yeah, the, the, yeah this the rest of this article is yeah. is just going through the, the problem yeah. and solution, and that, that's fine. Um, these are good articles. I think we'll very post good articles. these in the uh, we'll post these in the description on the VODs on YouTube. But in universities, it uh, uh, the tide is turning in that more uh, female students and uh, people of color and and everyone else is being invited to join the uh, the video game curriculum they're yes. being brought in to uh, stem uh, the, the the stem classes classes yeah. and there's a big push on the university level and what we're hoping to see is that when these they graduate this big wave will hit the the industry right at the at the ground floor and start really pushing and the change is going to come a lot quicker. Sorry, guys. Um, I just realized I didn't have the music on. Yeah, that's all right. And, let, and, and, and let's talk about okay when they when they launch right when they get when they graduate and they get their first job right. Uh, HR departments. Oh, yeah. HR departments oh, are yeah. are hiring for diversity, and they've been doing this for the yes. last I don't know decade right. For a while now. But. What has been seen is that after the first couple of years, all these diverse hires start leaving. And they leave because they're not supported. Yeah. The culture and the workplace is just not supporting them, so they leave. Lack of role models, pay expectations, etc. Right. So what needs to happen, I think, in the industry is what happens on the university level is the people who graduate become alumni of universities they're, they're tracked the statistics are tracked right so a, a university could say well you know x percent of our graduates went on to uh, work for uh, fortune 100 companies and got these positions and had this level of salary yeah this needs to be tracked as well in the industry okay we have this they have we have these new hires but we have a retention rate of uh you know 75 percent and our new hires go on we have this this percentage and uh goes to higher executive positions this posi this percentage moves on over here and they they track and so you have accountability when you have some hard statistics to back up uh your your retention absolutely and absolutely. that that retention 
and promotion should be a grade that a company has you know well you so, have your websites yeah. like glass ceiling uh, which can be used specifically to track that. They can be. And, you know, if you have those metrics out there, uh, like what Teal's talking about, it makes it a little easier to point, pinpoint where the problems are. Mm -hmm. And then, once you know where a problem is, you know how you can fix it. So, yeah, and right now the, the problem is retention. It is retention. And we need to, you know, look, look, at, look at these articles that say, you know, the, 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 the seven things that make women quit and... Uh, you know what 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 different uh women authors say they experienced and, and what they'd like to see happen um you know you really should take companies should take a good hard look at that and start crafting their policies their mentorship programs their leadership programs their executive suites uh what what goes into their games itself what uh what the characters look like what are the stories 100%. Yeah. You know, anything that we do um, on our side, we always look at a person and what they can contribute, not anything else about them.